Yeah, so um, Nemesis is the fastest of the uh, three. I think Ferox is the middle one, and then there's a third one that's slower but does more damage. And I don't um, remember the name of it. I feel like Nemesis does more damage than the, the slow one. And I just, the only benefit of the slow one is that it has a higher, um, uh, a, a bigger overdrive gauge. Alright, so this is the second world, and as you just saw, two humans popped up right there when we got the, uh, keepers. Uh -huh. So every now and then there will just be a human that just frees itself and doesn't have any keepers situated. So up at the top left where you see those kind of vaguely human shaped icons, be keeping an eye on that. And whenever they start flashing blue, that's a keeper, and whenever it flashes green, that means that there's a human just out in the wild. Out in the wild? Yeah. I got you, bro! I got you. Haha, -ha, I got him before you. <laughs> he zoomed across the map to try and get him, I was like, nope, right there, I got it. <laughs> And uh, a nice thing about picking up humans, if you're going for the more, uh, keep your, um, what's it called, keep your multiplier up high, when you pick up a human, it resets your multiplier timer. Timer, excuse me. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that since this plane is only pretty much left and right, um, it's not like Super Stardust where you could shoot it any direction. Yeah, you just shoot out in front of you in whichever way you're facing. Or no, that's not even true. You can shoot in whatever direction, just only yeah. left and right. Unless you have the Nemesis, which has Seeking Muscles. Yeah. And uh, each... you get weapon power-ups throughout the game, like what I'm sitting for next to right now is a uh, weapon power-up boost. And uh, each ship has its own weapon, like the uh, slow one has a shotgun effect, so the closer you are to enemies, the, you'll do a ton more damage. Whereas this ship just has a bunch of Seeking Missiles that you can throw at uh, the enemies. I feel like the Nemesis is the easiest to just get by on. I think so too. Do you know anything particular about the multiplayer? Multiplier? Uh, like any tricks? The only tricks that I've found is if you're in an area where that you don't have any enemies near you, and it's just about to run out, hit your uh, bomb button, and mm -hmm. for a short amount of time after you hit bomb, you don't. It doesn't lose any time, so you can keep it where it is and then you can wait for more enemies to spawn around you. If you guys will notice- oh no! Don't go in there! Oh. <laughs> um, when you kill these guys, they're little green things, they're points and they fill your gauge, right? Or is that Yeah, exactly. Just... Oh, okay. They fill up- the little green boxes fill up this green uh, icon that's underneath the ship, and that is your overdrive meter. The thing that I was talking about a moment ago to take out the boss. So... When you pick up the green things, do they add to the points, or do you just add points by killing things? I believe that they add, uh, points. Let me go grab this human over here. Alright. Oh, yeah, when a human is escaped, there's a little, like, arrow on your guy that'll tell you about where the human is. And, uh, it's worth noting that if you don't get to a human that's been freed quick enough, a little a UFO will pop up. Alright, these guys right here that Mari's killing are actually the uh, ones that I was talking about earlier. You have to kill them one by one, otherwise the human would die. Mm -hmm. You have to kill them in a very uh, specific way. But anyways, like I was saying, the UFO will pop up and will actually tractor beam the human up into it, and if it, the human reaches the UFO, it dies. Does it die or just just, just live a life of horrible experience, experiments? Uh, probably horrible experiments, but as far as we're concerned, he's dead. Do you think, is there any Word of God um, storyline to this that you know of? Um, the only storyline that I ever heard was in that same interview that I mentioned earlier, where the developers said basically, uh, the humans have been hunted down, they're basically a near-extinct race, and you're just going around to what's left of the human colonies to save the last living humans. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh god, it's so cool when these, like, things, like, explode, because they're basically just cubes. Like, this, this is like Legos. <laughs> yeah, this is probably, right now, the best game on the PS4 as far as showing off its, uh, potential. Yeah, it's like, but the thing is, like, you don't really think about it when it's happening. Yeah. But, like, literally, you're watching this thing being built by cubes right now. This is the boss, by the way. Yeah, this boss is really annoying. This is another one that's a little easier to take out with overdrive, but it's not quite as easy as the first one. 
Alright, so he starts off moving really slow, like you can see, shooting out small missiles or lasers. And then you just attack the screen and spots as fast and hard as you can until they explode. And then he turn, turns into a uh, second form. Yep. But you also have to avoid these fireballs, because sometimes I forget to do that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you can see him kind of charging up the attack right now, but every time that you destroy one of these green sections, he actually uh, has the ability to shoot a laser out from there, but we didn't get to see it before we ended up killing him. Yeah. Um, just You're really, really good at this. <laughs> uh, I actually platinumed it the other day. It's one of my see favorite See all these like, little tiny... Look at this. Everything's exploding, and you guys should appreciate all these little boxes. <laughs> <laughs>